Wow, what a day of action! Round 6 at the FIDE candidates saw all but two games finishing with decisive results, and there was not a single draw in the FIDE women's candidates. Tan Zhong Yi kept her lead over the rest of the field with a third win, this time playing with white against Anna Muzichuk. After a few inaccuracies from black, Tan unraveled a strong attack, first leaving one bishop up for grabs and then sacrificing another. The position was winning for white, but she did not play precisely and gave Muzichuk a chance to escape towards the end of the game. The Ukrainian player did not find the right continuation in a time trouble, resigning soon after. Tan won three games and made three draws so far. With four and a half out of six, she is in clear first place. Alexandra Goryachkina continues to lead the pack, hoping to catch Tan Zhongyi with the win against Nurgil Salimova with the black pieces. At the post-game interview, Alexandra confessed that it was not a difficult game for her, as everything went smoothly, and Alexandra did not give many opportunities for Salimova to create counterplay. Katerina Lagna won her first game in the tournament against Vaishali. After a series of disappointing draws, she was happy to have a positive result and was radiating with delight after the game. With 3.5 points, Lagna is now in clear third place. Lei Tingzhe also won today with the black pieces, beating Humpy Konaru. Unfortunately for Humpy, this tournament has not been going well for her so far. She now finds herself at the bottom of the standings. With this victory, Lei offsets her loss in the first round and is now back on an even score. For Indian fans, the disappointing results in the FIDE Women's Candidates was offset by the excellent one in the FIDE Candidates Tournament, as Pragnananda and Vidit won their games against Nijal Abasov and Ali Reza Faruja, respectively. Prague joked at the press conference that he's always trying to play solid, but somehow manages to end up in a messy, double-edged position. The game against Abasov was another mind-bending one, with numerous beautiful lines that did not appear on the board. The Indian star calculated more precisely than his opponent and was rewarded with a victory, putting him in joint third place. By now, we can proclaim Vidit a crowd favorite. With his exciting play style, he has been joining us for press conferences almost every day, and luckily, it was for a good reason today. In his game today against Ali Reza Faruja, everything went right for him. Faruja played really quick in the opening, but did not manage to equalize. Vidit unraveled a quick kingside attack and was precise in converting his advantage into a full point. Kukesh, one of the two joint tournament leaders, played a calm game with White against Hikaru Nakamura, where a draw was the logical outcome. His co-leader, Ian Nepomniashu, also split a point against Fabiana Caruana, with Nepo having the white pieces. Both Nepomniachi and Gokesh have won two games so far and are co-leading the tournament with four points out of six.